Welcome to Adam Home Cooking. Today we are preparing Akbele, a wokbele, and Keta Schoolboy pepper sauce. It's also called Abobi. This is the Keta Schoolboys. So these are the ingredients for preparing Akbele or a wokbele. I've got my dry corn flour here. I have my Keta school boys or abobi. What I did is I took the head off because the head is full of sand. So you take the head off like this. So that's what I did and I've got these ones. And I wash it well. So I'm going to fry this in a little bit of oil. Back home we normally um, roast it in the chuck on the charcoal. But because I'm not using charcoal, I'm just going to fry it in the oil. So this is my tomato for the pepper, my chili pepper, a bit of gar uh, ginger and onion. So what I'm going to do now is I put a bit of water on to boil. I'm going to cook the akule first. So I'm going to make the cocoa. You first make porridge with a bit of the dry corn flour before you cook the rest of the corn flour in. I'm going to mix this bit with cold water. It's a bit too thick. I'm just going to mix this and make it into cook it into porridge before I cook the rest of the corn flour in. So now as you can see my water is boiling. I'm going to add a bit of salt. Just add a little bit of salt to the boiling water. Then I make my porridge. You stir it to prevent it being going lumpy. So I stir it and I leave it on. Cook the porridge through before you add the other dry flour. You can see the cocoa or the porridge is boiling. So I'm now going to cook it. I'm going to cook in the rest of the dry cornmeal. Add a bit at a time. Don't make it too hard. I'm just adding it gradually. I think this is enough. Remember, because it's a dry cornmeal, it dries off the, the water quickly. So I'm going to mingle it to make sure it doesn't go lumpy. It's too hard, you don't add water straight away. You mingle it well before you add boiling water. Remember, you don't add cold water when preparing a pole or a work pole. You add hot water. Or you can also, if there's, you see that the porridge is too much, you can save some of the porridge and then when the acrylic goes too dry, you add the porridge to it. The lamp is gone. I mingle it to all the lamp is gone. I'm just going to add more boiling water from my kettle. Adding boiling water from my kettle. And then I'll just turn it over and leave it to cook a bit for about three to five minutes before I cook it through again or I mingle it again. You can also cover it with a lid if you want to. Now I cook it through for about three to five minutes. 
and I'm coming to mingle it again because I just leave it on to cook through. is now. Don't do it too hard and not too soft because as you leave it at time as it get cold, cool down, it gets harder. As it cool down it gets harder, it goes hard. I'm going to add a bit more of the boiling water. Just a little bit more of boiling water. to get ready. Take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, a cola is ready now. I'm just going to dish it into my bowl. Use a small side plate or a saucer to dish it out like this into your serving bowl. My abobi or keta schoolboy is being washed and dried, so I'm frying it. school boys is frying or above is fry I'm going to start grinding my pepper you can do it in a blender if you don't have the asanka or the grinding pot so this is my onion chili pepper and ginger I'm just going to add a bit of salt to it I'll grind this first before I add the tomatoes to make my sauce fresh salt to go with the apple. It's a hard work, so you can use a blender. That is easy. Just as you are making pepper with, to go with your cake. Okay, now I'm adding my fresh tomato. You know, apple can also be eaten with the okra soup or okra stew. But this one, I'm having it with fresh pepper and apple beef. Or Kita School Boys. I'm going to mash it. Okay, now you can see my pepper is smooth, all smooth up now. So I just have to add my fry abobi and then grind it just lightly, don't grind it because it's very smooth. Yeah. You know abobi also contains salt, so at this stage I'm going to taste it and see if the salt is okay. I think I need a bit more salt. The pepper is ready. Here we are. Our akpele and abobi pepper sauce is ready. This is the akpele I put in the dish. So what you normally do after dishing it, you cover it and then you turn it over to make it presentable. See the other side is smooth enough. 
So you can just have it on its own for lunch, dinner. You can also go with fried fish as well. Or if you want your sardine, you open it and add. Or your tinapa. Akbele is ready for you. And walk play. Enjoy.